We have to prove that in a rhombus, the two diagonals bisect each other at right angles, that is at 90 degree. So here in a rhombus ABCD, let's draw the two diagonals BD and AC. Let the point of intersection be O. Then we know that in a rhombus, the, all the sides are equal to each other and the opposite sides are parallel also. Right? AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. Now we get two triangles here, AOB and COD. So triangle AOB and triangle COD. Now in this triangle, if you look at this side, that is, let's say that this is AB, this is a transversal and this is CD. So AB and this is CD, this angle and this angle that is here if we name it angle 1 and if we name it angle 2, then angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Why alternate interior angles? Two parallel lines, it's transversal, therefore these two angles are equal. That is angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Then this side BA, this side BA is equal to this side CD or AB is equal to CD. Then just as we have seen that, just we have seen that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 due to alternate interior angles, same can be done for these two angles. Let this be angle 3 and this be angle 4. So if you look at this line, AB and then it's transversal and then this side. So this is AB and this is DC. This angle is what 3 and this angle is what 4. Parallel lines, it's transversal, angle 3 is equal to angle 4 because of alternate interior angles, right? So angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Now, we have the two angles equal, angle 1 is equal to angle 2, that is A, the including side that is attached to angle 1, AB and here also CD, S and then attached to this side is another angle A and this another angle A, so ASA. From ASA criterion, we can say that these two triangles are congruent are congruent. Now since these two triangles are congruent and if we show it like this, so if this is our triangle AOB and this is triangle COD, so this is AOB, this is C O D. Now here, this angle 3, sorry, this angle 3, that is angle B of triangle AOB is equal to angle D of triangle COD, right? Let's name it 3 and 4 or just say angle B and angle D, that would be much better. So the angle B of triangle AOB is equal to angle D of triangle COD that we have seen here and again this angle A of triangle AOB is equal to angle C of triangle ACOD. It means that the remaining angle will have to be equal. Right now why is it important? It's important because we have to establish, we have to tell the corresponding vertices. For that, imagine that you are holding this triangle AOB in your hand and you want to transpose it or you want to fit it on this triangle COD because now we have, uh, we have a proof that these two are actually congruent. So naturally this one will fit over this one, right? So the vertex B, if you try to fit, the vertex B of this triangle will fit on this vertex 
the vertex A of this triangle AOB, so let me write it here, the vertex B of triangle AOB and vertex D of triangle COD are corresponding vertices. Vertex A of triangle AOB and vertex C of triangle COD are corresponding vertices and vertex O of triangle AOB and vertex O of triangle COD are corresponding vertices. So these are corresponding vertices. And from this, you can see that when you do this, this BO, this BO will fall over this DO, right? BO will fall over DO. That means BO is equal to DO, right? Same can be done from here. If you can't, you know, visualize this. So BO and DO. Now, when you fit this or you transpose this triangle just as BO will fall over DO, AO will fall over CO. That will AO will completely cover CO, will fit over CO. It means AO is equal to CO. AO is equal to CO. You can put this as the line segments. Right? So, here you can see BO is equal to DO from this one and then AO is equal to CO from this one, right? So we have proved that the two diagonals bisect each other, right? The two diagonals bisect each other because this is the point of intersection and it's acting as the midpoint. AO is equal to CO, BO is equal to DO. Okay, so first part is proved. Now, if you now take these two triangles, we have to prove that they bisect at right angles. If you take these two triangles, that is triangle AOB, triangle AOB and triangle AOD, triangle AOB and triangle AOD. Now, of course, this side is equal to this side. We know this. So, AB of AOB is equal to AD of triangle AOD, right? Then AO of this, sorry, then, yeah, it's correct. AO is equal to AO because it's a, it's a common side to both these two triangles. It's a common side. I'm sorry, I was a little confused, but it's correct. AO is equal to AO because it's a common side. And then this BO is equal to DO. We are looking at these two triangles. BO is equal to DO because we have just seen here. BO is equal to DO. Therefore, S, the two sides are equal. Again, S, we have the common side. Again, S, the two sides are equal. From S, S, S criterion, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Are congruent. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, now let's establish the corresponding vertices just as we have done here. So for that, you can do one thing that just take, like in this case, take this AB and this AB is equal to AD and take this BO is equal to DO. Now tell me, let me write it here, AB, whenever you are dealing with SSS criterion and if you have to establish the corresponding vertices, this is the most easiest way that I'm telling you because many students make mistake in this one. AB is equal to AD and then I'll explain it also that how did we reach here. AB is equal to AD and BO is equal to DO. Now tell me which is the common vertex on the left hand side? B. Very good. And which is the common vertex on the right hand side? This is D. So your B and D are corresponding vertices and same thing here B and D are corresponding vertices and the A of triangle AOB, it's B of triangle AOB, sorry, B of triangle AOB and this is D of triangle AOD, it should be very clear. This side is for triangle AOB, that is left hand side and this side is for triangle AOD, that is right hand side, right? Now, this A, this A of AOB 
and this A of AOD is corresponding vertices and this O of AOB and this O of AOD is corresponding vertices. Okay, so I'm writing it here. What do we get? We, we got that A, we have got that A of AOB and A of AOD are corresponding vertices. Then B of AOB and D of AOB are corresponding vertices and O of AOB and O of AOD are corresponding vertices. It means that when you take this triangle and you want to superimpose it on this triangle, then this A of this triangle AOB, if you cannot visualize this, let this be triangle AOB and this be triangle Sorry, this is triangle AOD, not AOD, this is AOD and this is AOB. So when you take this triangle and if you want to fit it on this triangle, because we have proved that these two triangles are congruent, so the vertex A of this triangle will fall on vertex A of this triangle, the vertex B of this triangle will fall on vertex D of this triangle and this was O. And the vertex O of this triangle will fall on vertex of uh, O of this AOD. That's why the corresponding vertices are, in, are important. So from that, what you will get is like clearly this angle then will be equal to this one because it will completely fit over this one. That's why we can say from here that triangle angle AOB, angle AOB is equal to angle AOD this angle will be equal to angle this one, right? Because, why? Because this vertex will fit over this one, that is it will completely cover this one, therefore these two angles will be equal, that's what congruent triangle tells us, right? So if AOB is equal to AOD, that is if AOB is equal to AOD, this triangle, let's name it angle uh, 7 and let's name it or angle 5 and 6 angle 5 and angle 6 okay now tell me isn't angle 5 and angle 6 aren't they forming a linear pair aren't these two angles angle 5 and angle 6 forming a linear pair that is angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees aren't they forming it yes they are they are forming a linear pair that's why now we have that's why we can say that if angle 5 is equal to angle 6 because from here we have assumed that angle AOB is angle 5 and angle AOD is angle 6. So this is equal to 6. Let's suppose that this is equal to x. So from here x plus x is equal to 180 degrees and from here you can get 2x is equal to 180 degrees and from here you can get as get x is equal to 90 degrees. That is angle 5 is equal to angle 6 if is equal to x and x is what 90 degrees so it means angle 5 is equal to angle 6 is equal to 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees and this is also 90 degrees now tell me aren't the two diagonals bisecting each other at right angles right because if these two are right angles 90 degrees 90 degrees then all this will be also at 90 degrees because all form linear pair. 90 degrees plus 90 degrees means 180 degrees. If you want to look at this angle, this is also a linear pair. And this angle, it's also a linear pair, right? So when, uh, all are at 90 degrees. So the diagonals of a uh, uh, rhombus bisect each other at right angles.